live from Mestizo's Mexican Bar and Grill, comes the hottest new talk show and entertainment, Seabass and Friends, starring Seabass the Comedian, Miss Excellence herself, Evelyn Ware, and Crazy Concoctions, by comedian Crazy Reed. Don't miss your favorite new talk show, Seabass and Friends. Untapped talent. Yeah. You know, we've got people that can do all kinds of things, you know. Right. So we want to be able to highlight them you know, show them off, you know, right. give them a, an opportunity to come here and talk with us and talk about what's going on in their world, mm, right. you know, and what their gift is and there how is. they're giving their gift to others. Yep. And before we dive into that, I think we should take a little time and just brag on myself for a second of <laughs> how amazing this is all my set design. Y'all Y'all like my little Mexican infused. Uh, Y'all like how I done some y'all like what I did. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, Mestizos. Yeah, thank you, Mestizo, for allowing me to show you how to how set to up do a, it, huh? a restaurant. Yeah, yeah I, I like it though. I like yeah, it though. Yeah. It give me a little, you know, a little vibe. Uh huh. Yeah, you know, yeah. so that's good. So, and we do take shots during the show sometimes, all the time. <laughs> we just we want to encompass late night vibes and having fun. So, uh, now as this thing narrows down, what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Go ahead and take a quick break. But this is the only show we're never really going to leave. All right? We're not going to go to a commercial. We do it myself. <laughs> we're keeping the money. That's a twist. Yeah, we pay us and we're going to do the commercial for them. Yeah. You don't need to go anywhere. You're going to stay right here, right? Uh -huh. First up, what, what camera do I go? Which camera? Which camera am I going to? Which one? All right, that one. Okay, first up. All right. We want to make sure that we acknowledge RosenLiveHouse.com. No matter the condition, it will purchase your property quickly with no fees, all righty? Need to sell, sell quickly? No problem. Residential land, residential homes, commercial lots, commercial property. No matter the condition of your property, we will purchase from you quickly without fees. So if you tow the house up, they still got love for you. So make sure you tap into Rosie Buys Homes. Thank you so much. All right, Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Appreciate y'all so much, man. Make noise again for the best man around back at this day. We don't have a name, so I guess we'll call y'all the Two Bags and Friends Band. Y'all cool with that? Two Bags and Friends Band. We'll work on it. We'll work on the name. A right, good, good deal. Y'all write in suggestions to the show, we'll, we'll do that. But without further ado, we are at the part of our show where we dive into a little bit, a little bit of excellence. And this part is called Evelyn's Excellence. Mm -hmm. So Evelyn, you got it from here. All right, well, this is Evelyn's Excellence. And we will be looking at people who are doing things in the arts and entertainment arena, not with perfection, but with a level of excellence. Um, they're doing things to make a difference, to really make an impact in the area and really are all in on their craft. There it is. So um, for this segment, I want you to welcome Sean Joffreon. Ooh, come on Sean down. Sean come on up. Come on Sean. down. All right, Sean, you fly in. Watch your hips. Watch your welcome, hips. welcome. Watch your hips. Welcome, Sean. Protect your hips. I think I weigh 100. That's what I'm talking about, yeah. We care about the hips I'm, on this show. I'll let you hold this mic, okay. Sean. Okay. I, I love the last name, jo Joe Freon. Joe Freon. Oh, Joe Freon. Well, I like that one. Growing up, I didn't like that name. Yeah. I thought it was just not like Thomas. Uh, Johnson or yes, something like yes. that. But yes. now, I, I really, really, really like it. Good. It's a, it's a beautiful name. Wonderful it name. Is, yeah. It is. I love Thank the hairstyle as well. I'm seeing Thank it. I'm seeing the swag. You. He's got swag. I try. I try. Yes, he does. I try. Yes. yes, he does. I'll tell you what. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm so used to calling him Mr. Joe Freon. All right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but I'm gonna call you Sean today. Please, you know? please, uh, so I'm taking a step back just to my most recent past to sort of the, the best part 
of what I did in the last uh, 12 years. And I believe that was really working, working in the area of, of the arts. Oh, yeah. When it came to education, and just hold your mic up for me. Hold Shop, it up right, right here? Yeah, okay. yeah. Make sure that they, we want to make sure okay. they get you. You want me to hold it right here? Yes, as sir. As I talk. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sean Joffreon is the director of fine arts in East Baton Rouge Parish Schools. And there have been, there have been so many things. Yes, yeah, indeed. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. When, when he came on board, things turned around like you would not believe. You know, there, we've had some experiences together that, I mean, if there's, a, if there's an event that mm -hmm. the school district needs to put on, this man can knock it out of the park every time, every time. Uh, so, I, you know, I wondered what attracted you to doing this kind of work? Um, I think it was growing up because growing up i was always interested in something art mm. it was never for me football or basketball it was always something in art and i was always drawn to arts and it's not just one part or one segment it was music it was dance even though i couldn't dance <laughs> but it was it was acting it was going to museums so everything that i enjoyed was centered around that but what made it so great I guess in me being blessed was I had parents who didn't understand why I wanted to do all of this mm -hmm. but allowed me the opportunity to do so and to do it anyway and make those sacrifices so I could have those opportunities so and that's just been a part of my life you know how they say you look for your purpose and you dream to be a part of your purpose and an artist really knows their purpose because you can feel it eat it taste it breathe it mm -hmm and that was that was my purpose i'll do it for free not saying i will yeah. let me just right, make right. that clear. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah your, your purpose found you yes my purpose found me mm -hmm. yeah. yeah you've yeah. done some phenomenal things uh made some some tremendous um landmarks right. you know just some wonderful things that have come to the district and i'm thinking about uh some of the new things that right. are coming you know since since you've been on board can you elaborate a little bit about yeah. what's, what's new coming up of course that you played a part in too as well oh, evelyn she, evelyn no, yes blood no, so, she is she stuff, is yeah. but I'm this like, your helicopter? like stuff like that yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 pretty much this is what this is because for us we've always needed a conservatory or a fine art school that's high school we had it in elementary and middle and we didn't have it at high mm. and then under your leadership and then under our new superintendent, we saw the need for having it because our kids did not have those outlets. And what I like about this, this is going to be a full-fledged conservatory, 612 for any student who actually has a talent. Mm -hmm. Now, it's not actually just for certain schools, for certain GPAs. The only criteria you need to get in is your actual ability, your actual talent. And we don't want to stifle any kid coming from any area, coming from any socioeconomic background. The only thing that gets you to the school that should get you to the school is your talent. And we're looking to open that not next year, but for the 24-25 school year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's right around the corner. That was right around the corner. Yeah. Right here in Baton Rouge. Yeah. Right here. Where, where are you from? I'm from a little small town called Alexandria. Oh, okay. All yes. right. Not too far. Yes. That's not too up. far. Not too not far. Not too far. Right. Not at all. Mine's Opelousas, right? Right. <laughs> right. But, but think about, about it. We don't have a conservatory like this of its kind that's going to be anywhere in the state of Louisiana, other mm. side, other than NOCA. Mm. That's in New Orleans. So now these kids will be able to go into visual arts, performing arts, drama, TV, film, all of those things that that I wish I had when, when I, I was, was in school. <laughs> right, yeah. Right, right. yeah. But at least she's pouring back, back now, you know what I mean? Oh, Which of is course. amazing. Though. Of course, of course. That is awesome. That's so amazing. what's the great thing about this show is now we have the opportunity for artists yes. that are out there in the city to actually see what we do that can also be a part of what we do. So now we're looking for partnerships with your audience, like I see out here, are those who will be looking at this show and bring your talent make to the sure table you, you tune in next time to hear more from sean Joffion right. and, and more on the seabass and friends show.